Hey guys, my name is John, and this is my creation. Uh, I call it the Blood Fountain. Um, this is basically all it does, but I think it's a really cool effect. Boosh! And when you walk away, the skull comes back. Walk towards it, Blood Fountain. Walk away, the skull. So how do I do this, you ask? Well, let's find out. Okay, so this is the blood fountain stripped down to its bare bones, its bare redstone as one would say, and uh, I'm gonna walk you through how I did it. So the first thing I did was I put this uh, tower here, and basically all this is is a clock. This top command block has a set block command to set the block below it, this one here, uh, to a redstone block and destroy whatever was there. Um, so basically it will just constantly destroy and spawn this redstone block over and over and over again dozens of times a, dozens of times a second and forever until you put a redstone pole signal into this and then it'll stop like it is now the clock is not running right now um, to make it run we need to break this block and put another one and now it's running but I don't want that so I will turn it off for now Okay. Alright, this bottom one here is a player detector. So all it's doing is it's testing for any players within a radius of four blocks from this uh, from this command block. So four blocks is one, two, three is the air block here, and four is Steve's head up there. So if you were standing on Steve's head, it'd be active. And since right now we're actually four uh, block within four blocks of uh, the command block, it's actually on right now. Um, so if it detects a player, turns its comparator on, this repeater amplifies a signal, which runs all the way down to this torch tower. Um, I have it broken right now, so that way the clock wasn't running and everything wasn't annoying, because uh, it gets it gets very annoying. Um, let's see, yeah, all these all those particles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break that, so that way we're not being spammed with particles and lagging the video any more than it needs to be. Um, so anyway, that redstone line sends its signal up to here which then would turn this torch um, off and allow that tor this torch here to turn on which will activate this command block which will set a redstone block down here and that will activate this clock here so then same thing so it's a set redstone block command um, it's just gonna destroy and spawn this block here over and over again just like that one just like that one did, except over here. Um, so every time that that redstone, excuse me, every time that that redstone block spawns, it will activate this command block and this one down here. And this one is spawning in a redstone block entity where Steve head, where the Steve head is right now. And this one spawns air. Um, this one will spawn air in the exact same location. So basically, what that does is it will spawn the redstone block and then it'll immediately spawn in an air block. Um, what that allows us to do is to emit uh, redstone particles but without the block being actually visible. So it kind of looks like a blood fountain and that's where the whole idea comes from. Um, I saw Seth Bling use this clock and I saw all the particles coming off of it and I was like wow that looks like a lot of blood <laughs> and it just ran from there. Um, so when the player walks away uh, too far for the uh, player detector down there to pick up on them it will turn the signal off which will propagate through this tower here which will turn this torch back on and it'll send a signal to this block here um, which will effectively shut off the clock um, in the same time it will turn off this torch which will allow this one to turn on and activate these two command blocks here um, this one spawns in a skull where Steve is and this one actually makes it a Steve skull because you can't do that in one command block I found out um, you have to set the block to a skull um, but you can't set an individual skull type in this uh, syntax so what you gotta do is you gotta set the block data after the fact so that's what I did and that's my blood fountain uh, it's kind of small. You can really compact this. I mean, this is my first uh, prototype of it, so I'm pretty sure there's a 
far more compact solution to all of this that I just haven't discovered yet or even taken the time to work out myself. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was a very cool effect that it did. So let's start this back up. So, you can see, whoa, sorry about that. Computer got a little lag there. So you can see that this clock is always running. And uh, I'm outside the radius of it now, so nothing's happening. But as soon as I, if you, if you watch um, down in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, when I walk forward, you'll see the redstone line light up. A little bit closer. There it goes. I don't know if you can, there, okay, so it's off, and it's on. And then the blood particles, or the redstone particles start flowing. So, off, and back on. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks you guys for watching, you are awesome. Uh, hopefully you like this video, it is my first ever, so uh, please go easy on me if it kind of sucks. Um, but I don't think it does, so... Yeah. Well, thanks guys. Bye.